Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein, and this is a look at how to set up for two players the card game Inheritors from Ice Makes Games, who also made the excellent game Samurai Vassal, designed by Jeffrey CCH and Kenneth YWN. This is a copy we got from Amazon Vine for review purposes. So just in the interest of being transparent and full disclosure, we did get a review copy. It's a small box game that surprisingly has a lot to it. So it's definitely, even though it's a small box, it's definitely a little more than filler. But again, it's not a, a complex, you know, uh, you know, on Mars type game. But for a small box game, there's a lot to it. And we'd like to show you how to set it up for two players. We were very pleasantly surprised by this game. But the rule book, especially the setup, could be a little confusing at first. So we do want to uh, show you how to set this up. And this is for the two-player uh, version as uh, me and Will Shogunstein are uh, getting ready to play it again. So how do you set it up? Well, there are different realms. And you're going to make sure that uh, you have all the realms uh, sorted and the cards go in, in number order. So you want to make sure that you do that. And in the case of a two-player game, we're going to completely take out one of the colors and that's going to include not only all the numbered cards so in this case we actually took out the the, the blue realm but we're going to take out the clan cards any uh, honors and quest cards and realms cards that uh, dealt with the color we eliminated now since this is again two players we're only going to be using four of the the realms so we're going to randomly set up a number of honors cards and quest cards the honors cards go face up and the quest cards go face down and one way that the game is going to end is if these are all uh taken so that's going to be the next thing you're going to do so again you're going to make sure that you have in the case of two players it's four if you were doing a three player game there'd be five of each and if you're doing a four player game there would be uh, five of each so two players it's four at three players, it's five. And at four players, it's five. So you're going to have the honors cards face up and the uh, quest cards face down. And then there are the clan cards. Now, these are the recommended clan cards for a beginner game. There are two clan cards for each color. So in this case, we have, uh, what does the fox say? And we got the, the rat. And we got the, the bear and the wolf. Hungry like the wolf. Maybe Mr. Wolf from uh, Pulp Fiction. So again, you're going to pick uh, one of each for the colors that you've used. And again, since we're playing a two-player game, we want to make sure that we don't have the color of the clan that we're not using. In this case, that was the, the, the blue. And again, you normally have a choice of two. But in this case, since we're doing the basic uh, startup game, uh, these are the ones that are recommended. Okay, also, you are going to make sure that your uh, cards here that deal with the talents and the epics, you're going to make sure that you remove any cards that have an indication that they're for three or four players. So you want to make sure that you go through it and make sure you don't have any of the cards for three or four uh, players. Okay, now you're also going to, going to keep these to the, the side. Now, when you're going to start making your starter deck, um, each realm, again, these go number, you're going to have a card that uh, has the number uh, one. There's going to be a number one. So what you can do for all the colors that are in play, all the realms are in play, you're going to take the number one card and you're going to uh, deal one number one card randomly to each player. And then the other two are going to get shuffled back. So again, in the case of a two-player game, we're going to have four number one cards because we got four realms playing four colors and we're going to randomly give each player one of those cards so each player will have one number one card and the two that are left to get shuffled back up now what you're going to do then is you're going to make a deck a big deck of all the cards and now that everyone's going to start with a number one card you're going to make a big deck of cards and you're going to deal out everyone 10 additional cards so you're going to start off with 11 cards in your hand. So again, here's just my hand of cards here. 
those are going to be my 11 cards. And we're, again, what it would look like, here's a little Shogunstein, his 11 cards. Also, you want to make sure everyone has a uh, card that's a nice reference card telling you all the things you're going to do in a turn. And you want to make sure one of the reference cards has this red symbol because that's going to indicate the first player. Okay. And then you're going to take tree cards from the starter deck and you're going to put them here, and that's going to form your market. And that is the basic setup. So again, the setup in the little rule book could be a little bit confusing, especially as you don't necessarily know all the cards. So again, if you are setting up this game for the first time, please look at the card, uh, the overview, see what cards there are. And as you go through this, it might be... A little bit confusing at first. It might be a little more time consuming at first because if you're not familiar with the uh, the game yet, you might not know which cards are which. I know I had some confusion the first time I set it up. My friends at Meeple University have two nice videos on how to play the game, so you may want to look at that as well. So that's how to set up the game for uh, two players. And again, you got a little rule book. This is Inheritors. From Ice Makes Games, this is the Shogunstein out.